Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your December 2019 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, not all messages will resonate with you, so please use your best judgment and your own intuition to take away from the reading what is yours. Please leave what isn't. Um, make sure you uh, don't try to make anything fit. Roles can be vice versa, uh, so if it's your story but from the other perspective, just flip it around. And please don't get hung up on the gender of the cards as we all have masculine and feminine within us. So, first card out was the Hermit. I am going to put it back because I didn't call for it yet. Okay. Alright, Sagittarius. I think we're ready. Alright, thank you. Alright, your intention for the month of December is to to rise above to um get your life back in order to go after what you want if you're a business owner you want to reach to the top and nothing else will um do with um the emperor it's all about you know the the conviction and the ability to execute your plans and ideas successfully um and just gaining your stability um being able to see things um, for what they are, for what they're not. Um, you're really looking at the world a whole new way going into 2020. Um, and you're about ready to take take control of your world. Um, a lot of success I'm seeing coming from that. It is clarified with the death card coming out of Scorpio season. We are now in Sag season. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio as well. Um, but this is the old way of doing things releasing no longer giving effort to things that are not um you know giving you any nourishment this is also it's like allowing the great change in your lifestyle it's changing the view of yourself it's changing the view of your world and the new view that you guys have and have obtained through the pain through the shedding through the purging is out of this world amazing for you Sagittarius that that's resonating with you're just no longer doing things the old way you're no longer standing for people who uh, try to control you you're no longer standing for people who don't want to uh, commit to you in any way of, uh, of the of the meaning in work in family in business or in friendships in relationships you're just you're taking control of your own life and you're heading towards success uh, having a rebirth, um, coming out of a dark night of the soul. The last two and a half, three years for you guys have has been horribly painful. And now you're going to see in December, more so towards the end, like the 28th, 29th, um, or 26th, 27th, you know, 28th, 29th, you're going to see why all this happened. The person you are dealing with, their energy is the star. Um, really looking for some healing energy here uh they're enlightened and you bring them inspiration uh they're finding their own inner light because of you you could be a healer you could be um just not even realizing you're doing it uh but you're leading this person out of the darkness and into the light their um their energy is like elevating because of you um, it's like the magic of union. It's action that is aimed at attracting with no obligations. Um, but it leaves the potential of the, of the two of you to really rise above. It is clarified with the five of swords. So they are walking away from something else in their life that is not bringing them fulfillment, not bringing them happiness or, or justice. Uh, this is, you know, they're leaving a life behind that, could be could have been you know dishonorable or um they're trying to heal also from like an embarrassing situation and a humiliating situation for some um but they're gaining greater self-knowledge um it's from their mistakes and their hardships you know that brute force that sometimes with that brought destructive consequences is a godsend it's strength through perseverance versus you know over ambition it's possible losses through acting purely in their own interests 
but they're healing from that. They're, they're, they're bringing that to an end. Um, and they're walking away from a situation in their life that, that is not, it, this is the old way you guys used to do things. Um, no longer is that going to be a case, the case. You're taking back control. You're leading the way. They're healing because of your energy. And their intention is to come together with you. This is a wish come true. This is a union, a reunion um, with a divine masculine. Um, and remember, we all have divine feminine and masculine in us. So it can be male or female. But most definitely the stars are aligning. Once this person walks away from a situation in their life that is not good for them or the way that they act if they've been dishonorable if they you know once they leave that old them behind and you purge out the old way this is going to come back together this is strength through perseverance this is success through um learning from past mistakes let's see what your situation is Sagittarius what's Sagittarius's current situation two cards please Okay, so right now you could not be speaking very much to this person. You're really just taking some time to see the big picture, to view things from a different way, to remove yourself from the drama so you can take time to heal and to find your own truth, um, which is part of the death, um, the, the um, purging process. You're just taking some time to heal over this person's dishonorable actions of the past. You are going to emerge out of this speaking the truth and you will send out a message or they're messaging you Sagittarius and it's really just bringing this new enthusiasm about the connection you're excited to discover who the two of you are now that you are completely different people because the journey changes us we do not we do not come to that point of reunion or union with somebody if they are in your past in this life we don't return to them as the same people life changes us every day we change um you know different circumstances different actions they all have an impact on us so you're really excited to rediscover the connection that the two of you share um and you're coming out of this time of rest and and recuperation with a whole new outlook on life let's see what your person's situation currently is sagittarius what's sagittarius's current or person's current situation please two cards what is Sagittarius's person's current situation, please? All right, we got the moon. A lot of fear. They're trying to get over something. Um, they're fearing something. Let's get one more on this situation. What is uh, Sagittarius's person's situation? What is Sagittarius's person's situation? One card, thank you. Okay, wow, are they coming in towards you? So, there's a fear about this, though. There's a lot of deep-seated fear. They intuitively know that they're meant to go in your direction. They're intuitively knowing that they want to be with you. This is also a very deep sexual um, connection. Like, uh, you know, like, it's sexual, but it's intimacy on a deep, deep level as well. Because the moon is also romance. Then you put the Prince of Wands in there. That is a deep, deep sexual, intense connection, but it's also very intimate, very like this, like, you know, the walls are shaken when the two of you come together, you know, type of thing. Like, and they know intuitively that they're meant to um, move towards you, but they're, they're holding a lot of fear um, of letting this go. They could be fearing you rejecting them after what you have, they have done to you in the past. Um, but the universe is going to help and guide them through this situation um, and help them move in your direction. When they uh, surrender to the journey, they will be moved intuitively towards you, the Prince of Wands. We now have the Prince and Princess of Wands. So um, they could be a little bit younger than you, uh, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be because, well, it just doesn't have to be. But for some of you, it is. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or an Aries. So far, that's what we got. Let's see what, where this energy is, or what's the energy of the connection together. I'm sorry. I got all flustered there of where I was at. All right, what is the current situation of this connection as a couple? 
What is the current situation of this connection with Sagittarius and their person? Yeah, so the current situation or the current, you know, status of this relationship is it is in an emotional upheaval right now. Um, a lot of confusion, a lot of uh, Scorpio energy. We're just coming out of Scorpio uh, with the death and the tower. But the old way of doing things, I'm not surprised this is here because the old relationship had to be blown up. It had to be blown to pieces. You can't move into this new energy doing things the old way. Whether there's other people in the connection, whether there's, you know, lies and things hidden, that it all has to be exposed. And the light of the moon will do that in this uh, new moon that we have coming up. Or I'm sorry, this full moon we have coming up. It's all going to be illuminated for the path to be followed because that's when the stars are aligning as well. But right now, this person is either very sad about you walking away or they're, they're thinking that they're losing you. Um, and you could be sad because you're thinking they're never going to walk away from whatever it is that's been standing and blocking the two of you from coming together. But it's just the universe coming in and clearing the slate, bringing the two of you intuitively back together, um, blowing up the old way of doing things so this new relationship can come together. Because you've, you've hit a very um, pinnacle point, Sagittarius, and you have healed from the past. You truly took the time with that Four of Swords to heal in the right way. Um, in order to bring this connection back together. If you haven't met this person yet, this most definitely has been together in a past life. Many past lives, actually. So, let's get um, your feelings towards them, Sagittarius. Or no, let's do uh, where this is moving to next. Where's Sagittarius' next move? Where is it going to next? No, well, not that many. Where's Sagittarius going to next? All right, the Five of Cups. So, um, letting the past be the past. Uh, you could be very regretful over some decisions that were made, Sagittarius, in the past. But um, you're still not losing focus of the future. Um, yeah, because you know that this person is your Two of Cups. You know that um, this is going to be okay. But uh, you could be, there could be some sadness because this person is doubting whether or not to move towards you. Intuitively, they feel that, that they want you, they belong with you, but they're still healing from a situation in their past that really brutally messed them up. Um, but they are healing in the star energy. They are moving forward and intuitively being drawn to you. Even though at the moment they could have told you they don't know, they need time, they need space, they need to <clears throat> decide what it is they want. And that brought this tower moment currently. So right now you're sad, Sagittarius, but you know that they're coming back because you can feel it in your gut. You intuitively know as well. So you're sad that they're not in your life right now, but you remain hopeful and confident because you know that this person is meant to be here for a reason. You're very intuitive when it comes to this person and their purpose in your life. And this is going to move forward towards victory. Um, it just may be at a, a short halt right now until this next moon cycle. Um, where is Sagittarius' person's next move? All right. So, all right. They have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So, they're not feeling very confident right now for some reason. Um, they need to work on that value, that self-worth, because they're not confident that you're going to either accept them back or that this is the right decision. They're holding up because they're scared um, because of something a spouse did in the past. They could have been married already. And um, when with this connection, it really took away their, their confidence. And, and the fear of it ending in the way it had in the past is also here. But they also view you as a, a future spouse. They don't want to be single. They want to love and nurture you and bring this connection together. Um, no matter what the outward appearance may be, Sagittarius. All right, how does Sagittarius feel towards their person? This, oops, wow. The King of Pentacles. So you also want this connection. Um, you also want to be in a loving commitment, a marriage, uh, you know, just a committed relationship where the two of you can love and nurture each other um, moving here forward. 
Whoa. Sorry about that. Hold on. Okay. That is the Lovers and the Princess of Swords and the Princess of Pentacles. I'm going to put them back. They could have children or you could have children as well. All right. How does Sagittarius this person feel about them? Three of Swords. So they're worried they broke your heart. They, how they feel about you, they feel, um, they're worried. They're worried that you're not going to want them back. They think there's other competition in their space. They think they messed this up um, because they know they broke your heart. What's Spirit's advice for Sagittarius? What's Spirit's advice for Sagittarius here in December 2019? What's Spirit's advice for Sagittarius for December 2019? What's Sagittarius's advice? All right, you got the hanged man. So just be patient. Hold off. Hold back. Don't rush anything. Look at everything at, at a different perspective. Look at everything at a grand scale. Um, have an, like a, <clears throat> I'm, <coughs> excuse me, I'm seeing an owl. So that's like all seeing. So look, <clears throat> look at everything from every view you can. In this time of delay, while this person is trying to figure out what they want to do, what they need to do, while they're healing their heart as well, um, this person could have experienced a lot of heartache in the last couple months as well. They could be going through some difficult times. But um, your situation is just to be patient. You're going to receive an important download and an important um, piece of enlightenment uh, that is that is going to make everything perfectly clear. What is uh, Sagittarius' this person? What is their advice for December 2019? What is Sagittarius' person's advice, please? Do I have a flipper in there? Maybe not. Yep, there it is. I don't know when that flips, so we're going to put it back. What is Sagittarius' this person's advice for December 2019? Wow. To tie up loose ends and to take that leap of faith. Allow this cycle to come to a completion and allow the struggle that they're dealing with to end. They're, they're elevating. They're um, coming to a new understanding in life. And their advice is to take that leap of faith, to close out this major life cycle that, you, that, you, that they have been dealing with. And to truly um, believe in their journey, believe in themselves, and don't be afraid. The divine is not going to let them fall. Um, bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands. So, wow. All right. Let me get... All right, Sagittarius, your advice is very soon. Clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you now. It is being clarified with the bottom of the deck with divine timing. Worth the wait. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And like I said, this the star is divine timing for me. Very soon, in this, in this delay that you two are experiencing, decide what it is that you want because the angels are working behind the scenes and this person is most definitely worth the wait um so if this resonated with you Sagittarius please join me on the um Vimeo side where we will get a um blocks that are in the way of this connection um potential outcome and who this person exactly is and if they will be here by the end of 2019 so most definitely, this is a very strong, strong connection that is meant to be in your life for, you know, your life partner. Um, so let's see, dig deep, a little bit deeper and see if they're going to take Spirit's advice, if they're going to get out of the slump that they've been in of silence, um, and we'll just see what else we can all get over there. So check me out. I will put a link in the box below. If you don't join me over there, that's perfectly fine. I so appreciate you joining me here today. So... Thank you so very much for coming to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you next time. Much love.